Hello there, you're watching ULEARN, the place to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create wireframes in Adobe XD. Before we start to create our wireframes, let's take a minute or two to look at the interface and familiarize ourselves with everything on the screen. Let's get started and open Adobe XD. After opening XD, it may take you to the welcome screen. On the left hand side of the dashboard is where you can see your work or document. You may see a template of new files and recent ones in the middle of the splash screen. You do have the option to click on the drop down menu to see different sizes for mobile, tablets, websites, and social media posts. Let's pick a device or size. I will start with a mobile version. Right off the back, Adobe XD instantly creates a file for us to work on. This is called an artboard. Think of artboards as pages of a website. Outside of the artboard is your canvas. There are three options available, design, prototype, and share. Design is where you can create your wireframes or mockups. The prototype is where you can turn the designs interactive. And share is self-explanatory. On the left hand side are the tools. On the far right hand side is the control panel of the tools. Depending on the shape or text, you can adjust the colors of the fill, stroke, alignment, size, to text formatting, effects, Pathfinder, and repeat grids, which is probably one of the coolest tricks here. The pointer tool allows you to select, move, and resize objects on the canvas and the artboards. To manipulate multiple items at once, click and drag, creating a box around the chosen things. Come marquee selection in Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator. Alternately, you can hold down the shift and click to each object. Keyboard shortcut, V. With the shape tool, you can create rectangles, circles, polygons, or straight lines. Click the shape tool and select the appropriate shape. Rectangle, circle, polygon, or line. Inside the squares or polygon are the live areas, where you can change the shapes. Hold shift while drawing to create perfect squares and circles. Holding shift while drawing a line will lock your line to 0 degrees, 45 degrees, or 90 degrees. Using the up arrow on our keyboard will increase the number of sides for a polygon, and the down arrow will decrease the number of sides. Keyboard shortcut is R, E, Y, and L. Draw on your canvas with the pen tool. When you select the pen tool, you can create the shape you want. The pen tool is similar to how we use it in Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. You can left click and left click to create straight lines to create your custom shape. To close the shape, Hover over to the starting point, and the starting point should turn to a solid black dot and click when ready. You can left click and left click again, but this time drag to create your curve. To close the shape, hover over to the starting point, and the starting point should turn to a solid black dot and click when ready. Once you've completed that shape, double click on the shape with a pointer tool to edit the shape. To delete a point, grab the pen tool to delete a point. Change the color. Adjust the line thickness or set the default end caps at the right hand side. With the shape selected, you can change the opacity options along with the opportunity to add fill. But remember to keep the wireframe as simple as possible by using black and white and grays. To create perfect circles or squares, hold the shift key while drawing. To create a straight line at any angle, you can left click to draw and left click finishing a line. Keyboard shortcut P. When the text tool is selected, you can either click once on the canvas, which creates a title text, or draw a text box that makes a paragraph text. Go ahead and enter text on our canvas. To create a line break, press Enter. Switch to the pointer tool to resize your text. If you use a pointer to select the text, you can change the color, formatting, and alignment. Or highlight the text, and you can format the line of text to be bold, italic size, underline, and set the text alignment to be left right or center. Keyboard shortcut, T. Right below the text tool is the artboard tool. Suppose you select the artboard tool. You should notice on the right hand side and it shows a set of default sizes of various mediums. Pick a different size or click once on your canvas to create the last artboard size made. With the artboard tool still selected, grab it by the artboard to move the artboard around. 
double click on the title to change it and hit enter or return to accept the name change. For that matter, I can select the pointer tool and move the artboard by grabbing the title. Double click on the title to change it and hit enter or return to accept the name change. To delete an artboard, select it with either the artboard or pointer tool. Right click to delete or hit delete on the keyboard. To delete multiple artboards at once, click and drag creating a box around the chosen artboards like a marquee selection and click delete. Ultimately, you can hold down the shift and click each artboard and click on delete too. To resize an artboard, click on whatever size you want to resize. If you decide to extend the bottom of the select artboard, it may give you the icon that shows the scroll below the fold. Keyboard shortcut A. The tool becomes a magnifying tool with a plus sign to zoom in. To zoom out, hold the Option Alt key and click once. Press and hold the spacebar to access the pan tool, enabling you to move around and pan around the artboard or canvas by pushing on it. Just like Adobe Pros, you can Command, Control, Plus, or Minus to zoom in and out. Command or Control 0 will zoom all your screens to fit. Command or Control 1 will place at 100%, while Command or Control 2 at 200%. Command or Control 3 will zoom to the selected selection. Keyboard shortcut Z. Before you start to create your wireframes on a computer or tablet, make sure you sketch the wireframes on a piece of paper. By doing so, you can easily create comps on paper quicker than you can do it on the computer. To save time and watch me create many sketches of wireframes on paper, I will show you the finished drawing. There are a few ways of making the wireframes in Adobe XD. One, one could use a templates or download and use UI kits. You can essentially copy and paste or move the UI elements into your wireframe to resemble your sketches. Go to the menu, File, Get UI Kits. Two, you can build from scratch by looking at paper sketches and use them as a reference. Sometimes what I like to do is import or drag the drawings and place them on the top of the artboard. And as a guide, place art elements on top. And then when I'm ready, delete the place images. Resize the drawings if you need to, or change the artboard size to match the sketch. Then create a wireframe based on the elements you see on these sketches. The purpose of building a low fidelity wireframe with no words or text is to be as simple as possible. I use simple shapes from circles, squares, and shapes to make a wireframe. Or I can draw straight lines as text. If I want to du duplicate an item, I can use a keyboard shortcut command D for the Mac or Control D for the PC. Grab the pointer tool to move the duplicate shape. Or Option drag and it N as you hold the Shift key after dragging it on a Mac, it would be aligned in a straight line either vertically or horizontally. It's the same on a PC except hold Alt drag after dragging it to align in a straight line either vertically or horizontally. If you want to signify that there should be an image, you could fill the shape with gray with an X through them, indicating a picture box. You're going to love this next trick. Say I have a box with some type underneath it. I can copy and paste it. 
duplicate it, or turn this on. Repeat grid. You get a green bar on the right hand side and the bottom. Watch this. If I drag it to the right, it duplicates the item selected. Drag below, and it copies it again. I can easily create a gallery of boxes within seconds, and afterwards, I can click on ungroup to stop the repeats. I will still try to be a little precise by aligning objects to other elements, as I could use this to show potential clients what this site is all about. To do that, I make sure I select at least one or two items together and use the alignment tools on the top here the left alignment, center alignment, or right alignment. Once you do one wireframe, you can duplicate the artboard, copy and paste elements, and move them around to create a new layout. Within a few seconds, we have created one page. Want to try this again? Let's duplicate an artboard. Grab the pointer tool, select the artboard, and Command D for the Mac, or Control D for the PC. Or you can use the tried and true copy and paste. For that matter, I can select the pointer tool and move the artboard by grabbing the title, and hold down the Option Alt and drag to duplicate the artboard. Double click on the artboard the name to change it and hit Enter or Return to accept the name change. Let's create this artboard from the sketch. There we go. That's how you can create wireframes in Adobe XD. As always, please feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get the next hot tip. I will see you next time.